is going on Dragon Ball fans? Welcome back to another episode of this week's Dragon Ball Q&A video where today we have lots of awesome questions to go through so I hope you guys sit back and enjoy as we are going to be talking about several things happening in Dragon Ball Super alongside various other things and of course I do want to let you guys know that these questions that you guys see on screen are going to be directly reflected onto you guys so in case you guys have a different opinion to share then go on ahead and post your answers down in the comment section below alongside your questions for the upcoming Dragon Ball Q&A video so again if you guys have any questions to ask me or the audience be sure to go on ahead and drop your questions down in the comment section below and as always if you guys are new to this channel don't forget to go on ahead and smash that subscribe button alongside clicking that bell icon to be up to date and notified of any video that is posted onto this channel in conjunction to Dragon Ball Super news information updates leaks discussions and spoilers hashtag Dragon Ball squad and just as an additional note just to let you guys know if you guys have not subscribed to my second and third channels the link to those will be located down in the description box below in which I also want to let you guys know that Dragon Ball Super Friends is going to continue on this channel alongside Devil Artemis's channel as well as he is rebooting the series and creating the 3D variation of Dragon Ball Super Friends in which you guys can go on ahead and find on his channel alongside Dragon Ball Super Retro which I will mention towards the end of this video so without wasting any more time let's go on ahead and begin with the very first question of the day which is from Anunnaki Jinx. Yo Alex thank you for always making Dragon Ball more entertaining and always keeping informed when I'm taking my kids to school and at work. You seriously do a lot, so I wanted to remind you how thankful we are for everything you do. Thank you, man. That has to be one of the nicest comments that I've heard in a long time. So I wanted to ask you and your viewers something, so I guess these questions are also directed to your subscribers as well. So here goes. After watching the one-hour special, it's confirmed that Jiren is the mortal who a destroyer cannot defeat. So my question is, question one, what are the odds in Jiren's favor for him to win the tournament of power since he is the mortal that Whis mentioned and Toei having to also confirm this is he going to win the tournament of power question number two did you notice that Jiren hasn't used his full power yet do you think if Goku fights Jiren one last time that would force Jiren in using his full powers to defeat Son Goku question three I think hit will lose the battle with Jiren but do you think he can expose a big weakness that can help Goku when he fights him again thanks for all you do I also copped a shirt from your store always finish show love to you for always being humble thank you so much for that man it really means a lot to me so thank you so much for your warm comments it really does go a long way so to answer your first question I think in terms of Jiren's odds having to win the tournament, after seeing what he did against Goku, I don't think that people can put that into question and wondering if he could. He obviously could win the tournament if he really wanted to in displaying his full power going up against Vegeta and Frieza and now having the battle hit in the upcoming episode. I just think that this overall direction and narrative that they're pushing with Jiren may not be as predictable as people want to assume it to be. Now, for example, some people are making the assumption that Jiren is is gonna win and that is a possibility however people are totally forgetting that people like Goku are still gonna be around potentially having to recover fully from his battle with Jiren the first time and having to resurrect that same power he had before and fighting Jiren again one last time or possibly even seeing something else occur to where possibly as you said earlier he gets exposed by hit or some other fighter in having a flaw and weakness in his defenses so the odds in Jiren's favor for him to win is extremely high because as you just said, Jiren is the mortal that is stronger than a god of destruction. That was confirmed by Toei Animation on their website. That was confirmed by, you know, the overall narrative in the story as we saw Whis talk about it and Vermut having to also mention this. So you can't argue with facts. These are facts. He is the uh, the mortal that a Hakaishin cannot defeat. The only question that lingers here is can he be defeated? And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he could, but the question is how? Who is going to be the one to step up to put this guy down? Now with him having to be that mortal that rivals the powers of a god or at least the god cannot defeat that puts him at such a high caliber that the only other person I can see competing with him is Goku, especially if Goku were to retain that exact power he had before in fighting off Jiren one more time. So I think that it is possible that Jiren may win, and I'm pretty certain that a lot of you guys actually believe that he is going to win, but the question is what's going to happen towards the finale of the tournament once it really comes down to him having to face off against whoever he's, he's going to be coming across. For example, it might be free 
Frieza, it might be Vegeta, it might be Goku, who knows. Um, but the odds are extremely in, in Jiren's favor right now because as of right now, he took down Goku, so his next target is hit. So we're going to have to wait and see what happens with that. To answer your second question, yes, Hit has not displayed his full power at all as mentioned by the other gods and Kaioshin during the one hour special was that even while Jiren was pushing back the spirit bomb, it was mentioned how people felt a greater and deeper power within Jiren that he hasn't revealed yet. And even having a battle, the self-mastery technique that Goku had, we saw how Jiren was able to match up with Goku during that time. And that's only making the assumption that he hasn't even been trying at all yet. So you can only imagine how it would be if Jiren really puts his mind at focus in releasing 100% of his power. That would make him a very, if not anything as of right now, a formidable foe to anybody he comes across. But I think that once Goku fights Jiren one more time, I think at that given point, it should be suitable enough for Goku to fight at full power alongside Jiren as well. Now the overall outcome of this fight could favor Goku, it could favor Jiren, and that all depends on where you guys stand as an audience. If you guys want Goku to win, if you guys want Jiren to win. Nonetheless, I think that regardless of the entire situation, we are going to get Goku fight Jiren one more time, and I think once that happens again, we are going to get a more intense and violent battle between the two. I just feel like by the end of this, Jiren should display all of his power and even if he wins I really wouldn't be upset because he is the mortal that is on par with a god as confirmed by Toei the people that run things and so seeing such a, a high caliber fighter in this tournament you know compete with Goku and win really wouldn't bother me so much I just hope that they go a little bit more in depth with where Jiren got this power if of course he even trained with his own Hakai Shin or whatnot but until then we're gonna have to wait and see but I think that once Goku fights Jiren again it's bound to go down I think that both of them should and ultimately will use 100% of their power so to answer your third question uh hit losing to Jiren I think and I explained this during my live stream I think that fully having to grasp the overall concept of, of what's going to happen I think that hit is going to lose to Jiren in the beginning however as the battle transitions forward and as they continue to fight I think that Jiren is going to have a bit of a difficult time keeping up with you know hits improved time skip and his cross dimensions we saw several scans and shots and even during the preview to where we saw Jiren actually have a one-on struggle with hit even though hit was getting beat up pretty badly hit is getting attacked on purpose that way he can improve his time skip that way he can improve as a fighter that much more i think that by the end of it though it is possible that hit could actually figure out some sort of weakness and expose that from Jiren in making him more susceptible to losing to other fighters as the tournament continues. Does Hit possess the skill set and capabilities to take down Jiren? I think that in terms of techniques and skill, yes. In terms of raw power, hell no. Hit is on no comparative level when it comes down to Jiren and measuring up their strength because in terms of raw power you're gonna have to give that towards Jiren in terms of skill and technique I think it's highly possible that you know with his execution with those attacks and his moves it is highly possible for hit to one-up Jiren when it comes down to technique and skill so anyways Mr. Jinx thank you so much for your question and I hope you have a fantastic day my friend and now moving on to the next question, which is from Angel. Yo, what's up, Unreal? You ready for Hit versus Jiren? Hell yeah, because I'm not. What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hit is going to lose plain and simple, so I don't know where people think he will win, but here are my questions. Damn. Congrats on nearly making it to 400k, bro. Thank you. 500k next. Yes, the goal is to try to at least get close enough to 500k by the end of the year. So let's do that, guys. Spread the word about the channel. Thank you so much for the nice comments, by the way. Question one, do you think Hit will gain a power increase to survive against Jiren, or will Jiren just one-shot him like how I believe he will? Damn, you think he's going to one-shot him? Question two, uh, what do you think about Topo and Dispo during the one-hour special? Question three, how do you feel about Vegeta not giving energy to Goku? Okay, well, to answer your first question, yes, I think that Jiren is going to beat up Hit pretty badly to where it, it forces Hit to improve a lot. 
and we saw his rapid development during the Champa arc, how much he was able to improve and even keep up with Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times Tengoku. Fast forward a few years later, here we are at the Tournament of Power, it's highly possible that if Jiren beats down Hit really badly, that Hit can actually improve and come back at Jiren twice as hard. And as of right now, we don't really know as to what Hit is truly capable of when it comes down to him trying to kill, when it comes down to him trying to execute his opponent to the T, but I think that he will gain a power increase to survive, but ultimately by the end of this fight, I predict that it's going to be Jiren that's going to walk away the winner as opposed to Hit. As I just said, Hit contains the necessary skill set and techniques to win, but in terms of raw power, Hit has never trained with Champa or Vados, presumably, just as presumably enough Jiren has, because we saw how one of the Kaioshins actually mentioned how Goku and Jiren could not have obtained this power through normal training, so one can only make the assumption that they were both trained by gods, as we know Goku has, but what about Jiren? So, when it comes down to power increases, yes, I can see Hit gaining a massive power increase, but even at that, you know, as of right now, it's just already proven that Jiren just is very broken in the show, like he's extremely powerful, so I don't see Hit surviving, at least as of right now. So to, to answer your second question, what did I think about Topo and Dispo? Um, I was extremely disappointed because so far in Dragon Ball Super, Topo has did nothing, like he hasn't done anything. All he's done was fight Goku during the Zen Exhibition match, and that was it. Now in the Tournament of Power, he literally hasn't done anything except gloat and brag about Jiren and pretty much get bitched out by him every single time Topo is about to take front, you know, center stage, Jiren tells him move or he stops him from doing so. And I think that looking at it from the grand scheme of things, it's kind of demeaning to his character because what's the point of introducing Topo then if Jiren is being built up to be the guy? And the same thing goes for Dispo. Um, I'm not more or less disappointed with Dispo during the one hour special because we saw what he did against Hit, so he had his episode. But in terms of Topo, he shot out his Justice Flash, he was attempting to attack Goku, and it was just so poorly executed. I feel as if Topo should fight Vegeta, he should fight Frieza, he should fight somebody else to where it makes him that much more credible as a fighter instead of just giving everything to Jiren, which leaves out Topo. Why is Topo? on Jiren's nutsack instead of him going out there and fighting Vegeta and fighting other characters like Gohan just to establish dominance in that field. So I'm a little disappointed to see Topo's direction as a character because he isn't being utilized, he isn't being properly used in the show I think as of right now as he was during the Zen exhibition match with him having to break Goku's arm and all these things happening. So for me at least as a fan, I am not digging Topo or Dispo right now because they haven't done anything to establish themselves. Hopefully enough, we will see them actually do more like in the show as we progress on forward in, in, like in the actual tournament. Uh, but as of right now, it, it's just a little sad to see like the, their overall direction in this. So now to answer your third question, Vegeta not giving energy to Goku. I mean, it doesn't really surprise me that much because he's never given energy to Goku at first. I mean, even going to the non-canon films, you know, Goku always relied on Vegeta and begging him and screaming at him, give me your energy, and Vegeta's answer was always no. And I loved how Frieza gave energy to Goku and not Vegeta, and that's because Frieza isn't as prideful as Vegeta is. Vegeta would rather die then give his energy to Goku. So, um, in a way, I kind of understand as to why he didn't do it, even though, at, you know, at the grand scheme of things, it's kind of stupid for you not to give your energy to a fighter who needs it to, the, to take down one of the strongest dudes in the tournament. I think that Vegeta should have given him his power, but then again, um, that just goes to show that maybe Vegeta is also preserving his energy instead of just giving it to Goku, not saying that if you gave him energy that you would be depleted, but ultimately in a nutshell, I think that what Vegeta did was shocking because a lot of us expected to see him being more involved and he didn't do that. So to, to, to an extent, it was shocking and surprising, but I, I think what was more shocking was seeing Frieza give Goku energy and not Vegeta because Frieza is the one that hates these people. Frieza legitimately wants to kill Goku, Vegeta, and everyone else, as opposed to Vegeta does not. And to see that psychopath Frieza give energy and for Vegeta not to, 
was kind of like shocking to me. But either way, I think it was I, I think it was pretty cool. It, it wasn't too surprising seeing his his pride, you know, manifest itself onto the surface again. But either way, we're gonna have to wait and see as the show as the show carries on if he's gonna you know help Goku even more. I mean, he helped him during the process of Rebrian trying to get in the way. He kept blowing her back, so that was pretty cool. Um, but I, I I thought it was pretty cool nonetheless. If, if you want to ask me that, so. Anyways, Mr. Angel, thank you so much for your questions, Brian. I hope you have a fantastic day, my friend. And now moving on to the next question, which is from Christian Vega. I'm so hyped for Hit vs. Jiren. Goku vs. Jiren was my favorite fight in all of Dragon Ball, but I hope you can answer this. Well, that's pretty cool to know. People have different opinions for that, though. Question 1, do you think Hit will fight Goku again in the tournament, and if so, who would win? Question 2, what do you think of Jiren in the tournament so far? Question 3, which universe will be destroyed next? Well, uh, to answer your first question, I think that I, will, I would like to see Hit versus Goku again, but I think that we may not see that because as much as I want to see it, as of right now, it doesn't make any sense, especially if Goku has this self-movement awareness technique in, in, like, in his disposal, that pretty much puts him above Hit like, in all aspects, even with time skips. So um, who would win? I would have to say Goku, but... Uh, I, I would like to see this for many reasons, just because I would want to see a definitive rematch instead of the BS that we saw during the filler moments when he actually went to Earth to kill Goku. So, um, for me at least, as a fan, I want to see it, but I think that as, as an end result, Goku would win. But I would love to see if he can actually in, like increase and time skip, you know, uh, this limit breaker Goku ultra instinct, you know, technique that he has. Like that, that would be a, a, astonishing in my opinion. Uh, to answer your second question, what do I think of Jiren in the tournament so far? Jiren is becoming my favorite because so far in Dragon Ball Super, I love Goku Black, I love Beerus, um, I love Goku, I, I love a lot of characters, um, and I think that gradually as this continues, Jiren might actually get into my top five for Dragon Ball Super. Um, I, I just love how he's so calm, cool, and collected. He's like this cold, you know, cold monster, and I, I love that. So especially when he took his first steps in approaching Goku, the entire world of Void shook. That is amazing. So I think that Jiren in the tournament needs to remain the way he is. They shouldn't really give him like any dialogue or anything like that to break his character. Keep him the way he is. Uh, don't establish anything weak for him. Uh, allow him to continue the way he is right now, and everything should be fine. Um, but I just think that looking at it from like the grand scheme of things, he's great so far as a character. We haven't seen too much from him as, as he just fought Goku, but I mean, just like you, I can't wait to see him fight Hit. And for those of you out there that are curious, I am going to be doing lots of stuff this weekend for the upcoming fight between Hit versus Jiren. So... To answer your final question, which universe do I think is going to be destroyed? Um, I think it's going to come down to universe 3. I, 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 well, you know what? Universe 3. I was going to say universe 4 or 2, but you know what? It might be universe 3. Universe 3 has been the shits. A lot of these universes have been the shits, and I don't approve of what they've been doing with the direction, so I think that's pretty shitty. Um, but looking at it from like the grand scheme of things, I think it's going to be universe 3. Hopefully enough, we get to see more, or at least get more of a bank for our buck as we continue. Um, but for me, I, I predict that it might be universe 3, but if you guys feel differently, let me know down below. So anyways, Mr. Christian, thank you so much for your comments and your questions, and I'll be seeing you down in the comment section below. And once again, guys, Thank you all so very much for watching. I truly hope you guys had a great time. If you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to punch that subscribe button, guys, and enable notifications. If you guys enjoyed it, slap a like down below. And of course, as I said in the beginning, Dragon Ball Super Friends is going to remain on this channel alongside Devil Artemis' channel as well. I'm actually redoing and continuing Dragon Ball Super Friends using the original animator Toonzies in establishing episode 5 and continuing from there. So Devil Artemis is going to have the 3D stuff in which I highly encourage you guys to support him for that. And no, there is going to be no division for Dragon Ball Super Friends. It's all going to be in the same universe. What I want to do is create a universe of this. Having 2D and 3D, the best of both worlds, that way you guys can enjoy that. So Dragon Ball Super Friends episode 5, hopefully enough you guys can expect that on the channel. I think sometime between maybe this month and next month, depending on, uh, you know, how Toonsies operates, make sure to go on ahead and give that guy uh, a big, you know, thank you for that, for having him on board again. He's always been on board, but I had a little bit of a pep talk with him, so I'm actually kind of happy that he's still here and that we're continuing this. So Dragon Ball Super Episode 5, Dragon Ball Super Friends Episode 5 is going to continue. 
uh, we are going to be pushing that so please guys not just me but also support devil artemis as well because he is also going to be posting dragon ball super friends on his channel as well but for me I want to create a universe of this to have the best of both 2D and 3D. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Tune back in for more. If you guys want to see more content, go on ahead and check out my previous videos. And I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.